Well, welcome back. I'm Lisa Rustasi, and we've been talking about a very special project, the Bompas House. And along those lines, I'm now here with Pat Keeler, who's going to talk about a very special event coming up that will help uh, get the funds needed to make this happen. So welcome, Pat. Thank you. Glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about what's coming up. Well, on Saturday, September 8th, we're going to have our second uh, annual Bompas House 5K. We're encouraging runners, walkers to participate to help raise money for a very worthwhile project. So uh, we're looking forward to it. We're hoping for, uh, I'm hoping to double the participation from last year, which was almost 100. Wonderful. So just to be clear, you don't have to be a runner, right? You do not. You could walk. In fact, we encourage families to participate. This year we added a family competition where actually my family is challenging some of our friends' families to all participate. And, uh, you know, just a friendly competition, get everybody out participating to support a worthwhile cause. So we're looking forward to that. And it's such a worthwhile cause because it touches so many people. So many, who has not been touched yeah. by a life-threatening disease, right? Exactly. And actually, Jim Dugan, who this uh, race is named after, uh, means a little more to me than most because Jim and I ran together in high school. Uh, we ran cross-country together, and then later on we were colleagues at Corning Community College. So. It, it means a lot to me uh, that we support this worthwhile cause, and hopefully we'll continue to, to get it done. Right. And so the funds from here will further the cause. Um, you're getting close. You're about 200000 away from making it happen, so it has to be exciting. It is exciting. Uh, you know, I'm sort of tied into the race and working on the race, make sure it goes off without a hitch and get as many people as possible to participate. And... Uh, I think it's a great time and a great place, as you can see, Craig Park, and we go through the trails of Painted Post. There's a Painted Post trail with no cars. It's a beautiful setting, a uh, great time to, to run or walk. So I'm, I'm hoping everybody uh, that can come make it shows up. It should be a little cooler by then. Yeah. Yeah. So September, and actually, I didn't mention that we have a kids run for kids uh, you know, under 10 that would like to do a short race. We have a like a one kilometer race just to get the kids involved too. So they can participate and they'll get a shirt uh, to register. So all you have to do is go to the website at bapashouse.org and you will uh, find a, the 5K event listed there and all the information you need about how to register. Uh, if you, you have problems with any, just call me, I'll be glad, or just contact me and I'll make sure you get in hooked up. Yeah. So, and it's gonna start right here at Craig Park? It'll start and end at Craig Park. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful place with a pavilion. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah. yeah, family could even make a day of it. You could. Right? Yes, yes. You could really have a good time. It's a great ahead. picnic Thinking place ahead. for it, yeah? Well, I cannot think of a more worthwhile cause, and I can't think of better people to head this up than you and Joan. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're working hard for it, and Joan actually, you know, has worked a long time than I have, but wow. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. And it's such a special way to honor a special person, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you for being here, and we hope you'll all join in.